And they'll leave up videos. Here's another. Here, here's when they talk about vaccinating children. NBC News just lies and makes up numbers. And I, I'm going to play this for you. Let's bring in NBC senior medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres. Dr. Torres, good morning to you. As Kathy mentioned, that new poll finds about two thirds of parents are hesitant to get their kids the shot. What is your advice to alleviate some of their concerns? And Joe, you're right. There is that hesitancy to get the shot, and it's a hesitancy that parents typically have because they're very protective of their child. A couple of things I tell them is one, from a community perspective, you know, children right now are 25% of the cases that are out there. That's from a community perspective, but parents are more worried about their own child. So here are some numbers for their child. Last week, 118,000 children ended up with Pfizer. Since the pandemic, over 8,000 have been hospitalized, a third of those in the ICU. And unfortunately, there have been 146,000 deaths, which are according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, puts COVID now in the top 10 causes of death for children. So that's what they have to do because two thirds of the parents in the United States are hesitant to get their children vaccinated. So they have to get a, a guy who's on the take, who dresses like he's going to go be a lumberjack, but he really is a professional propagandist. And what he just did was lie. That was that was a straight up lie. A hundred times more Deaths that I mean, there's not there's not that's not true that 100,000 ch children have died from COVID in the United States. That is just that's just that's just false to 100 percent. And he goes on to try to scare you even more. Watch this. So I would say, you know, look at those stats, because it's important to understand that if your child gets COVID, that could be devastating with lifelong consequences. And so the vaccine itself proven to be very safe in the trials. The trials looked at them extensively for months. There were no side effects. And we know side effects occur in the first couple of months. And so that long term concern is very theoretical. And if it happens oh. could be very rare at the most but side effects from that from covid itself could be devastating so again joe uh, the main thing is so he just said there are no side effects <laughs> he said there were no side effects from the vaccine also a lie so those are two <sighs> lies back to back and when they put that video up on youtube which is still not taken down uh it got five thousand dislikes to 500 likes so that's why youtube stopped showing dislikes because every time they did a news report about COVID or the vaccines it got downvoted and big pharma put the pressure on them and they changed it that's my theory um so here's so what what do you what do you say about this uh this culture we're living in now where everyone's flex is to censor somebody who goes against the establishment narrative, even though the establishment narrative has been proven to be a lie over and over and over again. And people think Joe Rogan's the problem and they don't think NBC is the problem or Rachel Maddow is the problem or Rolling Stone is the problem. What, what do you say to that? You know, it's a it's a mark of honor that we all three of us share in common, Jimmy. Uh, each of us have been struck from YouTube for something or other. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I, I think if you don't get out of this pandemic without being struck from YouTube, you're, you're doing something really wrong. That ah. is, you're 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 not telling the truth. Um, I I think um, th that that report you just showed was absolutely shocking. It was like that. It was filled with absolute. Lie. So, for instance, another another lie was that that COVID has long term effects on children. Well, you know, there was just a study today published in in uh, in the uh the european journal of pediatrics and the study is this enormous study of law of covid uh in, in children it's found and here's the conclusion long COVID, that is long-term consequences of COVID in children is rare and mainly of short duration now normally you don't tell jokes in scientific papers but that is funny long COVID <laughs> is of short duration um, <laughs> that is funny i missed um, it i missed it the first time <laughs> I mean, I think I think this is one of these things where, like, they they're they're creating this sense of panic in parents, and the, it's it's just evil because what what happens is then parents make decisions for their kids that end up harming the kids on the basis of this false information. They keep kids home from school when they should be going to school. They they do all kinds of things to create anxiety in children. One in four young adults, and uh, seriously considered suicide in July of 2020 in the United States. The anxiety rates, depression rates in children are through the roof. There's a 50% increase in suicidality among adolescent girls in the U.S. during the pandemic. Um, we've created this anxiety around children that is just not warranted based on the facts about how COVID affects children. It's, 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 it's uh, an absolutely disgusting use of the power that the media has. And so